Today, Nintendo announced a new console called the Nintendo Split? Well, I should have maybe learned the name of this fucking thing. It's called the Nintendo Switch, and the gimmick this time around is that it snaps apart every which way and you can take it places. A decent concept, and at very least objectively smart from a business perspective, considering Nintendo's handhelds tend to outsell their consoles. Personally, I'm just glad that nowhere in the trailer did we see any semblance of motion controls or touchscreens. But this is Nintendo we're talking about! Thanks, by the way, for the copyright strike on my E3 video where your game was pretty much the only thing I was nice to. I'm totally not having second thoughts about that decision. Honestly, if this thing doesn't come with some crippling drawback baked into it, it'll be a miracle. So hop aboard the Cynicism Express and let's talk about some lead balls that can sink this fucker, shall we? Let's get the obvious things out of the way first. Number one, how much is this fucking thing gonna cost? Nintendo is traditionally not the best at eating manufacturing costs in exchange for software sales, so bottom line, how much extra am I gonna have to shell out for this thing so this hipster can take it on a walk with his dog? Because if we're talking like iPad numbers, then no thank you. Two, battery life. How long till it dies? when I take it out with me. I'm an adult, so that won't happen too much, but I realize I'm also not the target demographic. Does it last a plane trip? Like, comfortably? Because if not, you workshop that. Three, hard drive space, same deal. Games are big now. Why are they so fu- uh, There's a shot of a guy popping a cartridge into it. Maybe that means there won't be a lot of installs, but still, we're talking about a company that- you, Come on, the Wii U had an option of eight gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. Number four and five are games and power, and there is a reason that I'm mashing these two together even though they seem kind of unrelated. We want good games. That's a given. Oh, hey, cool, there's a new Marlo. Nintendo is more or less consistent consistently good at making games, which is a good, right? But you know those video games that aren't exclusive to certain consoles? Like, all of them? The Nintendo Switch has to at least be strong enough to play those. The Wii and the Wii U have what I like to call exclusive exclusion. You have the unique opportunity not to be able to play the game that everybody else is enjoying. And console-specific features like wallowing in your poor life decisions. As long as it doesn't not play the games that are on everything, the everything games won't not be on it. Also, when you pop it out to take on some bath excursion, or more realistically, into the bathroom. Does it lose power? Like, is this docking thing in any way connected to that? If everything's in the tablet, is that more expensive? Like, see, these problems loop back into each other. Like a snake sucking its own asshole. Delicious though the eggs may be, it will never truly find sustenance. Or will it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you, do you think it looks cool? Has Nintendo burned you too many times before? I don't know, subscribe or something. I'm a YouTuber.